Assalamu alaikum. In the current climate in the UK of uh, uh, Islamophobia and terrorism, what can British Muslims do to encourage more uh, community cohesion? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salatu wassalamu alayka ya Rasulullah. This is very clear if you recite Quran and have a look on hadith, hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So your concept will be clear that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. And a Muslim Islam doesn't give the uh, message of hate or message of terror, but Islam is the religion of peace. The meaning of Islam, Islam is from Salama, which means peace. So the word of Islam, the name of Islam, keeps the meaning of peace in it. And the duty of Muslim, Muslim the duty of that person who recite La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah is in the UK that he should be an ambassador of Islam. Some people like this Taliban, Daesh, Al Qaeda, these all they are trying they have nothing to do with Islam. They are kafir, they they are enemy of Allah, enemy of Islam and enemy of humanity. When they are spreading hate and when they are saying that Islam is a religion of terror, so it's duty of every Muslim is duty of every lover of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he should be ambassador of Islam. He should tell people, no, Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. Not only from his tongue, he should be uh, in his character. He should be good with every non-Muslim. He should go and meet every non-Muslim, be good in, with them, uh, be try to be as good as he can with them and prove that no, Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. Islam is a religion of peace. But can you understand the concerns of the wider British community who hear the word Islam and then with that affiliate uh, jihad, uh, terrorist uh, uh, and other various organizations, terrorist organizations? This is because of these enemies of Islam, which are called Taliban, which are called ISS, which are called Al-Qaeda. These are the enemies of Islam. This is because all. This is all because of them. Otherwise, I told you. In the, I, I told you that Islam means peace. Islam means peace. The message of peace is in the name of Islam. And if you read Quran, Allah Karim says in Quran that if you kill a one human being, it's like you are killing all of the humanity. And Huzur Ali Salam says in their hadith that it's necessary for every Muslim that he should care, take care of non-Muslims, of their lives of their children, of their everything. So it's because of these enemies of Islam. Otherwise, Islam is a religion of peace. It, is, it gives peace not only to the Muslim, but to the non-Muslims, not only to the human beings, but to the animals. So th this is all because of these enemies of Islam. Otherwise, Islam is a religion of peace. And how are you and how is the Qadri Trust as an organization promoting more community cohesion and actually um, alleviating all these other notions that Islam is just it's just one other organization so in terms of more integration what is the Qadri Trust doing? Yeah, Qadri Trust is also doing a great work and uh, all uh, trusts or organizations like this of Ahl Sunnah is doing the great work for this and we also we are trying to uh, bring everyone together every community together not only in the uh, UK but I said in two, three days before on one TV channel that even in Pakistan when this Taliban attacked on the Church of Christians we went there in Peshawar to the Church of Christians and we stood up over there and we spoke over there that we spoke of on the rights of the Christians in Pakistan that no this is not the way of Islam Islam gives peace to every human being so we always try Khadriya Trust always uh, try people like you people you are trying that we should bring communities together, to faiths together, and sit on one table and make the world peaceful. Final question. Post-Brexit, we don't know what's going to happen with the UK. Obviously, a lot of things are actually happening at the moment. What, what, what is your take on that in the next two years? Um, do you think we can do enough to, again, to encourage the communities to actually uh, harness Islam and harness um, Muslims to what they are? What will happen, Allah knows. But we are trying our best to uh, teach our people to teach Muslims that please be aware of these enemies of Islam. I name them. I receive threats, but I na name them that these are the enemies of Islam. We teach Muslims that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. We teach the youngsters, especially to the youngsters, then don't listen to those people who tell you to kill someone, who tell you to harm someone, because Huzur Ali Salam not even give the permission to kill an animal or, animal or to harm an animal. So we are trying our best and we pray 
that Allah Kareem keep UK, keep Europe, keep Pakistan, keep this world in the peace. Thank you very much for your time. Thank